I almost destroyed my fingers uh, pressing this uh, crystal perfectly. Not this crystal specifically, but pressing a crystal onto this specific case. And for some reason, uh, it wasn't accepting any new crystals. Uh, it was only accepting um, used crystals. And I tried swapping, and for example, pressing a new crystal on another watch with the perfect crystal and pressing that crystal onto this one and maybe swept like three or four crystals and which is very time consuming uh, so basically nothing did it uh, it was always rejecting and also stressing crystals as well uh, I also have this method uh, as a last resort where I um, basically create a thin triangle on the crystal uh, by holding it with this angle and just working on the edges a bit and only with this method uh, I was finally able to get this crystal in and the crystal isn't damaged but it was extremely extremely hard so while the experience is fresh, I mean, if a case isn't accepting a crystal, I definitely don't um, stress the crystal as it can get cracked on the side. Um, uh, once you see that angle and um, while pushing, if it's not going in, um, my opinion is that uh, take the crystal and uh, with this angle, just work on the edges a bit and make sure there is uh, like a 0 0.2 millimeter uh, section with an entry angle. That way, um, it will smooth the crystal in. So, this is my method to use. And with this method in mind, I actually um, maybe remembered or came up with another idea. I have an extreme amount of 5118 crystals uh, basically they are identical to 5022 and only different is the armor ring area height so idea is to uniformly shorten the crystal and then polish the underside uh, so the reflection is perfect because it matters uh, even the, if there is a crack for example uh, on the underside uh, if the underside isn't uh, perfectly transparent you can actually see it uh, on the front side for example luckily this is perfect you can't see anything you can see the armor ring but uh, maybe you have seen a watch like that where edges look uh, clouded and sometimes there is uh, like a scratch right around the edge those are usually um, side cracks and very dangerous because if these watches are used uh, water can get in there so it's better to just create an angle uh, it should reduce better resistance uh, but it's definitely better than a cracked and discarded crystal and arguably if a case isn't accepting a crystal uh, you could say that uh, the acceptance area is lower in width so uh, maybe that pairing even if the crystals on the side is smoothed uh, since the case is tighter as well uh, maybe the resulting um, water resistance is the same uh, it's also important to note that uh, cases um, oh, sorry crystals are wildly different for example these are normally 29.6 millimeters and you usually get them at 29.62 millimeters but can go up to 29.67 millimeters so those crystals are actually problem crystals and uh, probably the reason why they are most of is 
because uh, they are so challenging. So that is the experience. I mean, uh, once you are uh, submitting the underside of the crystal, you might as well uh, get a five one one eight. And if you are maybe in, if you are working with other crystals, an equivalent higher crystal, and just shorten it. It's very easy to tell if it accepts uh, the armoring and uh, if it if the area is narrower uh, you can't actually push it and if the area is wider uh, the armoring doesn't stay there so it's really easy and it's also very important to push the armoring perfectly so the uh, let me just try to so as you see let's get to the You can almost not see the place where the rings meet. So there needs to be the rings, uh, the two sides of the ring need to perfectly uh, accept and match each other. Otherwise, uh, the dial is going to be stressed and the ring needs to be perfectly seated. Otherwise, again, the dial won't be uniformly supported. This will cause a very, very rare dial, so um, it needs to be perfect crystal. These are accordingly. And the armoring needs to be perfect as well. And after two days, I was only now able to complete this and I have many regrets mainly swapping other crystals and stressing other watches other crystals as well for example the goodwill watch also received a new crystal from another gold watch and goodwill's crystals went to another watch and that crystal now came to this watch so a lot of crystal swaps Mm, I, since this is a different crystal design, mm, as you can see, the sides are flat, and it's a very really flat crystal, and this is from a different manufacturer. I assumed it would easily go in, because these uh, are usually very easy to press, they are well made, and they are different from these, which are more of a dome. But this case was just not accepting anything. It was extremely tedious. So that's it. Another challenge with crystals. And also, if you are a CKC enthusiast, maybe a future CKC enthusiast, I think it makes more sense to just use a 5118 and shorten the base a bit so it perfectly accepts. Uh, 5022 armor ring. I wish I thought of this before, but I've been working on watches for maybe seven days now, and I can't get much, get much sleep, and it affects my judgment as well. So I really wish I taken a step back, and came up with a better solution, or just wait and buy a new crystal as I'm. Out of five zero totals, I'm used five zero totals. But I have an extreme amount of used crystals now. Maybe ten used crystals. So that's good. Now let's go crystal case. These are all used crystals or on the rings and reusable ones. But for special dials, I believe the crystal needs to be unused because if you polish it, you can still see some blue sections, etc. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.